earlier we discussed organic and inorganic compounds we know that carbon is an essential element of all organic compounds we also learned that for a compound to be classified as an organic compound it has to have carbon to carbon or carbon to hydrogen covalent bonds or both we also learned that a covalent bond is the one in which atoms share their electrons together rather than donating or receiving electrons this binding and sharing of electrons give compounds their unique properties and because of these properties some compounds become essential for human life human body has both organic and inorganic compounds water is the most important inorganic compound carbohydrates proteins amino acids and fats are very important organic compounds some of these compounds make building blocks of human body some provide instant energy and some serve as stored energy others are important for all complex chemical reactions in the body that are necessary to maintain life today's session is dedicated to organic compounds important organic compounds in human body are carbohydrates proteins and amino acids lipids and nucleotides being organic they all have carbon as an essential component all also have hydrogen all have either carbon to carbon or carbon to hydrogen covalent bonds or both the main source of energy for human cells is glucose it is also known as dextrose glucose is a carbohydrate a certain quantity of glucose is maintained in human blood with the help of insulin a common word for carbohydrates is sugar scientists also use another word saccharide for carbohydrates carbohydrates have energy stored in their bonds which can be released when these bonds are broken carbohydrates are made up of three elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen carbohydrates are also known as hydrates of carbon the term hydrate is used to describe that a compound contains water carbohydrate literally means carbon and water important thing to remember here is that not all compounds that have carbon hydrogen and oxygen are carbohydrates it depends upon the chemical structure of a compound to be classified as a carbohydrate lipids are also made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen single basic unit of a carbohydrate is known as a monosaccharide glucose is a monosaccharide two basic carbohydrate units can combine together by the process of dehydration synthesis to be called as a disaccharide dehydration synthesis means a reaction when a water molecule is removed from reactants the word synthesis refers to the production of a new substance with the help of a chemical reaction between two or more substances common example of disaccharides are table sugar and lactose which is a sugar found in milk long chains of carbohydrate molecules are known as polysaccharides and glycogen and starch are common examples